Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we completed Ingvald. It took pretty much the entire episode, but we rescued Vipper the Fleet for the Companion's Quest, which means we can keep moving in the Companion's Quest line. However, we're going to take a short uh, detour and do something that should help us out quite a bit in the Companion's Quest line. And to do that, well, Adrenach once again has heard rumblings of a power residing in none other than Falkreath. Now the question is, have we been to Falkreath? It looks like we have. Uh, like I said, it's been quite a while since I've done this line of things, this particular line, this particular As quest if line. didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Hey, be open, man. Life is going to go so much more better for you if you're just more open to people. You, you don't have to have a, uh, a discrimination. Uh, uh, there's the uh, there's the word that starts with a P that I can never, ever remember. It's very close to uh, discrimination. But anyways, the joke has been said. Let's go ahead and do something else. No dragons, please. Oh, there's a dragon all the way. No, no, don't. Don't stop. Don't stop at Falkreath. No, Falkreath is not, th is not good this time of year. Okay, we're looking for an inn. In. Dead man's drink. That sounds like an end to me. Like I said, Adronach has heard rumblings of a power residing in Falkreath. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Actually, I was looking more. Horse bones. Handsome man in Falkreath. Oh. Oh, well, th ha oh, d does that look handsome to you? I'm glad you can see beneath the mask. Everyone just sees the mask, you know? I need to find a woman that can actually see me for who I really am. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Good to know. All right, anyways, we're Welcome looking for information here. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. Heard any rumors lately? Folks have gone missing the past few weeks. Word now's that our hunters are gone, too. Say, if you're traveling, could you keep an eye out for them? Valder and his men, I think they were after Bear up north. Locate Valder's hunting party. Now, I'm not sure. You know what? We can't even ask her. I'm looking for work. Got any leads, I believe. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. That's your job, Volga Venetia. By the way, Be I careful. like your alliterate name. Al no, alliterate sounds like she doesn't know how to read. Alliteration name, I should say. Now, this sounds like what we want to do here. So, let's go ahead and activate this uh, miscellaneous quest. Locate Valder's hunting party. Uh, by the way, everyone said that... Uh, well, a couple of comments said that. At the beginning of the 100th episode of the Easter Egg episode, I said that uh, I wouldn't put references in the episode. And then I showed Temba Wild Arms. Uh, Wide Arms, who is a reference to Star Trek or something. She's a walking, talking reference. She's not a line of dialogue. It's it's different. I, I don't know. Don't, don't people see that? But anyways, uh, locate Valder's hunting party. We will do just that. Let's see where he's supposed to be. I hope this is not one of those things that's supposed to be moving around. However, we shall see. And also, this loading screen is reminding me. We still have the hearth... Hearth... Gosh darn it. I play so much Hearthstone. This always happens every single time I want to say this. Hearth... Fire. Hearth Fire DLC. Yes, we still have the Hearth Fire DLC where, of course, we can make a nice home for Adronach. Which we will be doing at some point. I think uh, we need a bit more money. We'll probably do it before we take on the Dragonborn DLC. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking that's the plan. And if we do need more money, I might even show you guys. <clears throat> wow, there my voice just sort of lost itself for a little bit. Um, okay, time for some time for some legitimate Bethesda Bethesda scaling here. Let's see. Let's look for some rock faces that we can traverse. Up we go. Come on, Adronach. You are spry even in your semi old age uh, have i pegged how old i think adronach is yet in the let's play hmm I, I need to think about this more but i'm thinking like early 40s or late 30s something like that maybe Hello? mid 40s you over here please i need help please do you have a potion you can spare thank kinnereth for you stranger i'd almost given up hope of walking away from here who are you? Name's Valder. I hunt out of Falkreath. We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggans. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. 
I may know a spell that would work. Thank you. Please hurry. Do we know a spell that would work? I think we do. Heal other. Heals the target. 112 points, but not undead, Atronax, or machines. Now that sounds pretty good. Much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. Don't be foolish. I'll do it. You'd really risk your life for a stranger's honor? I don't even know what to say. Thank you, my friend. I'll wait here. Okay, now I believe this is something completely different. This is actually, I believe I've done this in a Skyrim Sin Treasures, and this was definitely one of the cooler ones. People had suggested this, and I looked it up, or I just did it, and I was like, wow, that sounds really good. I don't remember, that sounds pretty good. Hey, that sounds pretty good. I'm quite a fan of iDubs, if it wasn't clear. I know that meme particularly, he's not a fan of, because it's been destroyed to death, or, or done to death. But uh, anyways, here's Ari. Uh, this is a cool location, like I said, I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's lengthy, so we're gonna complete it anyways, because this is a nice little interaction. There's the bear. I'll take its bear claws. We're gonna sneak around a little bit, even though it looks like, yep, we are already found out. Don't use your nature powers on me. Have you ever played Pokemon? Have you ever played Pokemon? <laughs> Come on. Fire always beats grass. And bear. You guys know the bear type. It's a fairly new type. I think it was added with sun and moon, which I will be getting, by the way, for anyone interested in my Pokemon habits. Uh, I rarely complete Pokemon, and I never really... I, I just try to complete the uh, Elite Four, and I never really get more into it than that. Um, I was a huge fan as a kid, but now it's harder for me to get into them, and I don't usually complete everything, like the end game content, which is unfortunate, because I'm, I'm a completionist. It's just with Pokemon... Specifically, I always find myself losing interest near the end. I think it's because I'm a 23-year-old man, and it's just not something that really... It, it's so kiddish. Like, the games are so kiddish when you take a step back and, and look at them. I know how in-depth they are, though. I know that the fighting system is actually crazy in-depth, and, and I've seen Pokemon battles. And uh, if you guys don't realize, like, how in-depth they are, take a look at some time. Look, I remember watching a lot of Blame Truth. Um... Blame Truth's Pokemon Battles. I think he had a second channel where he uploaded those. Anyways, I'm rambling here, but, uh, yeah. Oh, is this not what I thought it was gonna be? This is not, this is definitely not the quest. Um, but I thought this was a different location. I thought this location had a unique weapon inside of it. I guess I am wrong. Although I was right about it being not lengthy. Okay, so the reason this was a cool Skyrim Hidden Treasure is because the whole unique interaction with Valder... Uh, there's Niels. We'll eat Niels' bread. He's not gonna need it. Am I right? Alright, yeah. This is... Oh, I'm remembering what the other one... Ah, uh, I'm remembering what the other location was called. Okay, well, unfortunately, we weren't able to ask the innkeeper about any other quest. So, hopefully, once we complete this one, she'll lead us in the right direction. It's done, then. Justice, if you can call it that. Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when we first started hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door. Ah, so we do get a unique weapon from that. Okay, the memory was there. We have Valder's Lucky Dagger. 25% chance of a critical hit. And unfortunately, it doesn't look unique, but it is unique weapon nevertheless. All right, so let's head back to Falkreath. Um, there's a different, there's a couple of different ways to activate this quest, of course. You know what? I know exactly how to activate it, but I want to find it naturally and organically. Man, I used to say genuine and... What was it? Genuine and... Uh, there was another word. Genuine and general. Yeah, genu genuine and general, and now... Well, that was more of a misstep, actually. Uh, now I'm saying naturally and organically for every single word. You've been seen in the company of the Companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. Thank you. Don't worry about the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild, but, uh, yeah, the Companions, hell yeah. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, Traveler. You said something about a burial? Well, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, Traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. 
Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arkay? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barret's soul. I don't have time right now. Typical. Why would you put the... <laughs> the responsibility of... Sending your friend to the right place on a complete stranger and then say typical. All right, then. All Try right, not indeed. not to judge Falkreath too harshly, visitor. The war has been hard on us. I'm sorry, I should really go now. Okay, how do we start this quest? I mean, if I talk to, like, two more people and nothing happens... They say like guards don't count, like though. Feet. Guards are obviously oh, not people. Uh, let's see. We can go to the Jarl. The log house or the long house or whatever it's called. Let's try the dead drink one more time. The dead man's drink. Um, and we will see if we can get started on this quest. If not, we'll explore the prison. Hmm. That's a bard. We don't want anything to do with bar, uh, bards. There's Valder. I was going to say he might be a companion now. He might be a companion that we could travel around with. But it looks like he's not because we have no dialogue with him. I hear Valder made it back safe. Too bad about the others, but at least it's one less thing to worry about. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Any juicy gossip in town? Now we have to complete that because it's either in our... Oh, well, it's actually... Oh, it's killing a dragon at a uh, dragon shrine. Okay, well, that's... We're going to do those anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and explore the Jarl's... Uh, long house, but is that the same place as the prison? I don't go to to Falkreath often, so a lot of this is unknown to me. Uh, there were the barracks. The barracks sounds like a place where they would have prisoners, right? I think this. I mean, it should be Falkreath. This is this is where this quest should start, I believe. Uh, let's just explore the surrounding buildings and see if any of them are a prison or a. Uh, there should be another word for that, right? In the old English of Skyrim. What is this? Dangir's house? No thanks. Is there another door? No? Okay. So let's go ahead and explore the barracks first and foremost. And if that doesn't work... Hey! Oh! Nobody worry about that. That was definitely not a soul tear shout gain from the soul cairn. Uh, the land of the undead. Into the barracks. Actually, are souls counted as undead? I don't know. They're just souls. Okay. So we're looking for the prison... Or the... The jail! Okay, that's what we'll call it. Actually, do we have any dialogue with this guy up here? One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Nope, Sigic mugs don't exist. Don't worry about that. That definitely won't be a plot point in the next Elder Scrolls game. Uh, I always want it to... I've always wanted it to be an Elsewhere, but continuing the Somerset Isles quest line, uh, the White Gold Concordant and all of that, it, that would be cool as well. So I would either like uh, the Somerset Isles with the Sigic Monks, though, too, because this is, the Sigic Monks would have to be in the Elder Scrolls 6. Um, but yes, the Somerset Isles or Elsewhere, I'll take either. And Argonia, too. That'd be cool. Uh, anyways, there's nobody in this jail cell. Don't tell me there's only one cell. No way. Oh, we have somebody here. Yes? Come to gawk at the monster. Why are you imprisoned here? A little girl is dead because of me. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believe me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. What ring? This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to. But I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it. And threw a curse on it. I put it on. And the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like... With the little girl. What kind of transformations? I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret. And my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. What will you do now? 
have been looking for a way to appease her scene. There is a certain beast in these lands, large, majestic. It's said that her scene will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness, give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Why did this make you attack the girl? I had just come into Falkreath. They needed some help work in the mill, and I thought that would be something safe, something I could do. When I saw the little girl, I was just... I could feel it coming on. I could taste her. I needed to hunt. But this pitiful, limited body wasn't meant for hunting. Slow, no claws. Weak, mashing teeth for shoeing cud. I held in my rage as long as I could, but it boiled inside of me. She looked so fragile, helpless prey, and then I... I feel terrible about what happened, about what I did. It would probably be best for everyone if I just went away. Who is Hercene? Do you not know the Daedric Lord of the Hunt? He revels in the chase and also gave the gift of lycanthropy to mortals. A powerful force not to be crossed, as I learned too late. I'll take the ring to Hersey. Oh my. You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and, and the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. Should leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Farewell. Oh, it's not born out of kindness, it's born out of the hunger for power. We have the cursed ring of her scene. Whoa. What? Whoa! Oh, that's right. There's like a unique animation of him crawling out. Is he crawling out or is he still in there? Looks like he's still in there. I mean, if he could have exited in his werewolf form, I think he would have done that a long time ago. Hey, man, any ideas about watch that? Watch the or skies, Traveler. Watch the skies, Traveler. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say, too, if I just saw that exchange. Okay, so we've been given the cursed ring of her scene. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Cursed Ring of Hercene causes the wearer to randomly become a werewolf. Now, that's not good. That is not what we want. So we need to do this quest as soon as possible. And as you can see, if we try to unequip this, hey, you cannot unequip this item. And also, uh, where is our, yes, Ring of the Erudite is not equipable as well. Or it's not equipped. And that's pretty bad because that means our Magicka is lost. Our 100 points of Magicka. That's quite a lot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and press start, and here we have Ill Met by Moonlight. I've met Sind Sinding. Sinding? <laughs> I've met Shindig, a werewolf who the Daedric Lord Hercene has punished by preventing his transformations. He's given me the ring he stole and asked me to entreat Hercene for forgiveness. Kill the Great Beast. Let's unequip Miscellaneous, and let's find where this Great Beast is. Looks like it's pretty darn close. We'll fast travel to the Ancestor Glade, which I believe was the location where we had to get all of the Ancestor Moths in order to figure out the prophecies in the Dawnguard DLC, which which I'm so glad we are done with. That lasted for 10 years, and it's not as interesting, I don't think, as um, the Dragonborn DLC and uh, all of the things that come with that. So, has this moved? No, it has not, which means we are particularly close. Do we have Highborn? We do, and we also have Beast Form. But I guess we can't use Beast Form, can we? Because isn't the whole point of the ring to make us transform randomly? Although, obviously, we have a down period. Uh, we have to wait 24 hours before using Beast Form again. So, yeah, uh, it says ill met by moonlight, so I'm not, I don't think it makes us transform whenever there's a, a full moon, because that doesn't happen in the base Skyrim. There's the thing, oh, we're supposed to transform into a werewolf, because that thing is way too fast, I just realized. Yes, Cave Bear! Attack him as well. Okay, that's, yeah, this thing is incredibly, fa uh, incredibly fast. So I think it wants us to, what is happening? Wow, there's like, there's a bandit marauder firing ice at my back. Great. 
no. Wow, he's talking about stabbing me in the back, and he's pretty much doing exactly that. Okay, so, as a werewolf, you can see our stamina bar does not decrease nearly as fast. Or maybe we just... I mean, we don't have a lot of stamina as base Adrock, do we? So I think, yes, we get a lot more. Boom! That was pretty satisfying. What else? Oh, there was a standing power attack. Someone also left a tip that there was a standing power... Oh. Oh. Yes, I'm forgetting all of this. So this is all coming back to me now. Okay. Oh, get out of your way. Spirit elk. Are you looking at me? What are, are you following me? Well, there's a lot of people around me. So let's go ahead and take them out, I think. Your crown. Gods. It's made of ethereum. Pure ethereum. Where did you find it? Tell me. Okay, so this is a bug. No, I don't think so. Er, no, I don't think so. Then I'll take it from your corpse. Kill him. Okay. Steel sword of cowardice added? Where did we get that? This is really, really, really weird. Oh, God. And I'm not even sure if we can flip through this. Okay, let's... Eat the fugitive. Werewolf perk available. Great. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Let's 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 get some. Oh Jesus. Let's get some distance between us. Okay. Let's activate one of these werewolf perks. Okay. Feeding heals twice as much health. Yes. We're gonna grab that one. That's gorging. All right. Now we just need to. Okay. Let's try the standing power attack. Okay. No. We don't have time. Oh god. I don't want to die here. Okay. We need to. We need to feed. We need to. No. Oh my god. Okay, I fast traveled to the Ancestor Glade again, and just to show, it immediately made me transform into a werewolf. So this is the random transformations that it was referring to. Now, I also want to speak to the random encounter that that should have been. I've never seen that random encounter before, and if you don't know what random encounters are, it's just like in Fallout. There's little areas that will spawn random encounters. A lot of the time, they're boring. They're just like a bunch of spriggans or enemies or something like that, or hunters or whatever. But sometimes, they are unique, sort of like that. Uh, asking about the ethereal crown, which of course had to be added with the Dawnguard DLC, and that is very, very, very cool. Down goes the elk again. Sorry about that, buddy. Go ahead and turn into a ghost if you'd be so. Oh my god, again? Okay, let's try the standing power attack on the last person over here. We'll stand still and we'll hold the left and the right triggers. Ah, look at that. Yes, indeed. Okay, don't get ward. Like, that's gonna matter. <laughs> We get a ward werewolf claws? <laughs> you dummy. Okay, then we're gonna get gorging again. Alright, now let's find the other two and gorge on them. I'm not sure what this elk is supposed to be doing, uh, but maybe we have to not. Maybe we have to untransform, transform back. Can't feed on that person. That really, really, really sucks. And of course, we're also extending the bloodlust, so if we do have to transform back, that's not going to be fun. Come on, really? There has to be a little... Eh, somewhere I can go to, to feed on this person. We didn't already feed on them, right? No, we didn't. What? What do you want? What are you looking at? Lead me somewhere. Are you following me? Let's see if it, if it follows me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You moving? Can't feed on the animal, can we? No. All right, let's, let's move a little bit ahead and see if it follows me. If not, it looks like I'm going to have to wait until uh, until uh, we transform back. Or maybe it's just glitch, which would also really, really, really suck. Uh, because it's not moving whatsoever. What do you want from me? All right, let's wait like... I'm not sure how long it takes. This is probably a comment that's been left. I'm not sure how long it takes to transform back. But let's wait around eight hours and see what happens. Okay, it's still in the same place. Are we going to transform back? Can jump. There we go. Well met, Hunter. Didn't I just kill you? And skillfully, too. I've been watching you for ages, it seems. You have the makings of a fine hunter. You may even be my champion. Perhaps. Are you Hersey? I am the spirit of the hunt. Just one glimpse of the glorious stalker that your kind calls Hersey. Will you remove this curse from the ring? I may consider it. 
but you must first do a service for my glory. The one who stole it has fled to what he thinks is his sanctuary. Just as a bear climbs a tree to escape the hunt, but only ends up trapping himself. Seek out this rogue shifter. Tear the skin from his body and make it an offering to me. It shall be done, as you ask. Fly, my hunter. There are others who vie for my favor. A bit of competition. Don't dally while the prey flees. My name is Adronach. There is no competition. What are you doing? Are you licking me, Hercene? Are you licking my face? We have the white stag, deer hide, garnet, large antlers, and venison. Nothing unique. No white. No white deer hide. Such a such so many opportunities. Just make a white deer hide. How how hard could it be, huh? Like literally, there can't be a programmer that can change the color of that deer hide to white and call it white deer hide. I, I, like I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Like how hard is that to do? It doesn't seem like it would be hard. Anyways, begin the hunt and we will do just that. Now I think it wants us to actually hunt uh, the guy that we just talked to. I'm gonna call him Shindig, even though his name is Sinding. Uh, but Shindig, it looks like we need to kill him. So I guess he did escape, and I don't know why he was saying that he was gonna die there, because he had the ring, which means he should have been transforming, um, you know, without controlling it. So he probably turned into a werewolf at some point, and then he couldn't just, like, jump out like he just did. Uh, I'm pretty sure her scene is referencing Sinding. Uh, I could be wrong. It has been quite a while since I've done this quest, and I did not even remember that we had to hunt the white stag first and foremost but obviously if you're wondering why, why we're doing this uh in lieu of the ooh, what do we have here anybody in here no ooh, we have a knapsack though steal from knapsack immortal blood nothing nothing interesting though so we don't really adronok does not steal finds it beneath him um yes obviously if you were wondering why we stopped the companion's quest line um, and are doing this quest. Well, it directly deals with... Oh, you know what? We should probably... Oh, this... Oh, God. I just realized how bad this must suck. Wait, that means we don't have the Cursed Ring of Hercene either. Which means... What if we equip everything? Huh. We don't have to equip the Cursed Ring of Hercene. Okay. Well, doesn't that really get rid of the, the negative of that? Well, maybe you just want to turn into a werewolf without actually being a werewolf. Although, there's no negatives to being a werewolf other than you can't get the well-rested bonus. Uh, anyways, to finish my thought before, um, yes, it directly deals with being a werewolf, which we are. So, uh, we're going to see. A lot of people were telling me to do this quest, and I don't remember exactly what you get from it. I, we'll see. I think you get two rewards. Um, the same one from Oblivion as one of them. Um, but anyways, we shall see. Let's, uh, let's kill this fox with some fire. Gotcha! Okay, and down we go, which is to Bloated Man's Grotto. Bloated Man's Grotto, really? I could have swore it was something else. But anyways, inside we go to blo Bloated Man's Grotto. Alright, now let's go into Sneak. Do we have... Beast form available? We do. Okay. And and remember, we should start like leveling that up just like as a vampire. Any any chance that we have uh, to kill a lot of enemies. Okay. Completed, begin the hunt. Join the hunt. We have Batam Grabar. Who obviously is a hunter with a lot of hunting utensils here. Watch what they're doing. Has the Blood Moon called you, fellow hunter? What happened here? The prey is strong, stronger than the hunters, but more will come. Bring him down for the glories of Lord Hirsin. Kill Sinding. It is indeed Sinding. Let's search Jakir. Well, I mean, of course you guys are going to die. You have iron swords, iron daggers, and leather. Come on, guys. You know you need at least some magically unique weapons or abilities. Come on. Come on, guys. Who is this? Matassar? Yeah, how, how, how did all of this fare for you? Oh, we have a mage here. Disgrace to the mage name, though. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one where we hunt down 
sending. <laughs>